Welcome everyone to Whiplash. We are live in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. I'm RJ Peckham, and as you can see, my broadcast colleague Mark Adams is still recuperating from injuries suffered in the car accident from last week. Let's take you to some backstage footage. What do you want, my Fuhrer? You have impressed me, young apprentice. You have improved the past few weeks. You just need to pass one more test, Corporal DeLarge. Oh, really? What's my test? Stealing Tony Chimmel's coffee mug? Very funny. Now shut up. You're gonna compete tonight. You'll be facing an SS member. SS member? Who? Me. What? Well, you're... My fear, huh? Yes. You beat me. You'll be an honorary SS member, and you'll be my general. If you lose, you'll be executed by firing squad. And our match is right now. See you in the ring, my apprentice. Looks like we got an impromptu match set up between Adolf Hitler and Alex DeLarge. If Alex doesn't win, he's executed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. From Berlin, Germany, weighing in at 218 pounds, your fuel, Adolf Hitler! Believe me, I'm sure it takes great pain for the announcer to say his name like that. Forget those bricks, they're going to need the Great Wall of China to separate the viewer from the audience. Seriously, whose idea was it to build this all out of bricks? And his opponent, from London, England, weighing in at 203 pounds, Alex Bernard! Alex DeLarge, indeed in a precarious predicament right now. It's win or die. And there's the bell. And here we go. Alex actually pulling nothing back against his master. Russian leg sweep. Even though neither of these two are very popular amongst the fans, one thing you can count on, since they're both psychopaths, you can count for a bloodbath in this encounter. And now the floor. Going with punches, going to the top rope. Superplex. X marks the spot. Working those punches. The Fuhrer is now the new television champion after defeating Nazareth at Telemania with help from his SS members. Imagine if the title was on the line. What if, just by some miracle, Alex DeLarge happened to defeat the Fuhrer and become the new television champion? 
There's an underhook suplex. Working on the arm. Alex hits him with his groin. Alex DeLarge is not singing in the rain right now. If he loses this match, he's going to be singing in the blues. There's the throw with a DDT. The Fuhrer smashing Alex's face in. There's an elbow. Oh, and Alex DeLarge with a sort of neck breaker. Russian leg sweep. Another Russian leg sweep. If Alex DeLarge expects to defeat the Fuhrer, I suggest he open up his arsenal a little bit. He's not going to defeat Adolf Hitler just by Russian leg sweeps alone. There's the clockwork! There's the pinfall! One! Two! No! Fuhrer just kicks out at the last minute. And comes back with a DDT. Swinging neck breaker. There's the pin. One, two, three. Hitler has picked up the victory. Not good, Alex. Not good. Who's your winner? Well, all I can say is Alex, nice to see you. Hardly knew you. You are to be executed immediately! Uh oh. You'll die for this, Hitler, and you will burn in heck! Take him out the back and shoot them in his head! Maybe this is a bit rough, but. Nonetheless, this is Alex Large we're talking about here. He's had his share of problems. But I think the Fuhrer is abusing his power here in TWA. Someone has to stop him. Oh, please! No! Can't we discuss this? Oh, please! No! 